students the today lecture we will discuss the numericals from fermi level and density of states the theoretical part we covered in the last lecture so the first problem given here is draw the energy band diagram of hypothetical semiconductor with the following properties the given values are the 3 t equal to 300 kelvin that is temperature effective mass of the electron this 0.7 m not is the free mass of an electron and uh, effective mass of the holes 0.3 into m not eg is your band gap 1.2 wrapped hole so it is a hypothetical semiconductor this said not specified actually in this that is a electron concentration 10 to the power 13 cubic centimeter so what we want to do is we want to determine like a eef and uh, you want to do the band gap diagram and you want to mention those represent those values okay very simple problem but very uh, and it's very useful to understand the concepts okay so first uh, in the previous lecture we have derived what is the intrinsic uh, concentration formula with the given effective masses right the ea equal to ec plus ev divided by 2 plus 3 by 4 kt natural logarithm of effective ratio of effective mass of whole divided by effective mass of electron so intrinsic concentration formula with respect to the effective mass we have derived same formula i used and you can see here ec plus ev by 2 somewhere here right so this is a you can see this is a band gap and uh, so ec by ev by 2 so this is a mid of you will be saying ea so that i can write ec plus ev by 2 to ej by 2 that is a that's what you can understand from this diagram somewhere in center only right so that i can write like a ej by 2 So this is a basic thing you need to understand. Okay, E G plus E V are represent like E G by two plus three by four K T natural logarithm of effective mass of holes divided by effective mass of electron. Okay, so if I just plug in the values, that is E G is one point two electron volt and divided by two three by four K T natural logarithm of point three by point seven. Here the thing is these values are not given in electron volt. These values are given in the joules actually. So I want to convert into the electron volt to convert this. See, I go here how it was converted into electron volt. Three by four kT natural logarithm of point three by point seven. So three by four plus zero point seven five k is the Boltzmann constant. One point three eight into twenty four minus twenty three and uh, uh, temperature two hundred three hundred can be. So if you multiply both, you'll be getting four point one four into ten to the minus twenty one in joules. So logarithm of point three by point seven, you'll be getting minus zero point eight four seven two. Okay, if you calculate, you'll be getting minus two point six three zero five five six into ten to the minus twenty one. So I want to convert into the electron. So I should divide with one point six zero two eight and ten to the minus ninety. It becomes minus zero point zero six one four. So already you determined uh, this point six L electron volt minus zero point zero six one four. So we'll be getting zero point five eight three five eight seven. It is round off to zero point five eight four. So this is the intrinsic concentration with respect to the effective mass which we calculated. Hope you understood. Now we will go for determining what is the effective density of states in the conduction band and the valence band with respect to the effective mass. See, we have a two or three. Uh, we can write this same formula with the different uh, um, with a with a parameter uh, like uh, that. Everything we see in the coming uh, lecture uh, videos. Okay. So here I use this formula to effective mass of electron K T divided by two pi. This is a reduced black constant and power three by two. So two the multiply is is a factor of the electron. Okay, each orbital have a two electron. That is a two that here introduced here. So the effective mass of the electron it is given as point seven. So point seven into mass of the free electron. So mass of the free electron is nine point one one into ten to the minus thirty one. So in order to go with the easy calculation. I have separated the power values and normal values, the left side and right side, so that uh, it will uh, make your calculation very simple. So when you are working with this power values, you have to be more careful with the calculator because when you are substituting minus 10 to the minus 30, 40, 
so you'll be getting zero directly so it's not like that but here here when you're calculating you want to be you know yes yes and you want to power you should not substitute those power values in the calculator directly okay so you can manually you can calculate and you can try to uh, produce your answer see here 0 0.7 9.11 1.38 300 if you multiply you will be getting 2640.078 10 to the power minus 31 10 to the power minus 23 if you add the power minus 54 then if you multiply this 1.055 and 1.055 you will be getting 1.113025 so power value if you add minus 34 minus 34 minus 68 if you multiply 2 pi with this whole value you will be getting 6.9934 so now you divide this 2640.078 divided by 6.9934 you will be getting 3.77509 if you calculate this minus 68 to the numerator, if you bring, it will become plus so that 10 to the power 16. Whole power 3 by 2. If you calculate for this value, you will be getting 7.3348 into 10 to the power 24. So when you multiply with this 2, you will be getting 1.4669 into 10 to the power 15. It is in the meter cube. You want to convert into the centimeter cube. Okay. Now we want to convert, now we want to find what is the effective density of electron with respect to the valence pair. So formula is 2 uh, effective mass of the holes, Boltzmann constant, temperature 2 pi and uh, reduced to the constant h per square 3 by 2. So here you will know all are constant values k, t, uh, like a h bar square everything but expect this uh, m star p that is the effective mass of holes the remaining things are constant you can see so I just substituted the effective mass of holes is given in the question is uh, 0.3 so effect free mass of electron is 9.9 9.11 and uh, Boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 and uh, your uh, temperature is 300 and uh, reduced blank constant 1.055 just if you multiply will be getting 1131.462 similarly if you multiply this blank constant will be getting 1.113025 then if you simplify this power terms you will be getting 2 into 1.61789 into 10 to the power 16 and whole power 3 by 2 so if you calculate for this the whole power 3 by 2 you will be getting 0, 2.0579 into 10 to the power 24 so if you multiply with the 2 you will be getting 4.1158 into 10 to the power 24 it is round off to 4.12 into 10 to the power 18 per centimeter cube similarly here also NCI round off to 1.47 into 10 to the power 19 per centimeter cube okay now we will find what is the intrinsic concentration of the semiconductor the intrinsic concentration formula is square root of ncnv into e power minus eg divided by 2kt so in the, here we have calculated nc and nv and that is nc is 1.47 and nv is uh, 4.12 okay so if you substitute uh, you will be getting uh, like a 6.056 6 into 10 to the 37 but here the numerator is electrovolt but here it is not uh, like a 2 kt is not in the electrovolt it is in the joules so I want to convert into the electrovolt so I have given the steps how to convert it how it was converted so k is 1.38 into 10 to the minus 23 and temperature 300 kelvin so it was found out to be 4.14 into 10 to the minus 21 joules so the, you know this is a basic procedure to convert so you'll be getting 0 0.0258 so when you multiply with the two you'll be getting 0 0.0518 so when you substitute in this equation we'll be getting uh, like a e power minus 2 3.166 so if you multiply these two values we'll be getting First, we'll calculate for individual, uh, like for 6.056 into 10 power 37, if you take square root, 7.78203 into 10 power 18. Similarly, for e power minus 23.166, 8.692 into 10 power minus 11. So, if you multiply both the value, you will be getting 6.76 into 10 to the 8, but, but just uh, similar q. So, this uh, value which you obtain for this problem. Now, uh, we want to find what is your uh, Fermi level, right? We want to find what is Fermi level. I, I use the formula n equal to n i e f minus e n divided by k. This is the formula we know. We want to find what is your uh, e f. 
so when you rearrange this equation taking a logarithm on both sides you will be getting ef equal to ea plus kt logarithm of natural logarithm of n by n so here ea we have determined kt you know so kt in here it was given in the joule so you want to convert into the electrovolt so you know the procedure already discussed same procedure you want to do it here and natural logarithm of uh, n divided by n a so if you calculate so here everything is electrovolt so you will not have any problem so just you want to add it so if you see if you substitute from this to here what you will be getting is 0.584 electrovolt plus 0.025 electrovolt into natural logarithm of 14792.8 if you multiply again so you will be getting finally 0.584 and plus 0.2486 is finally 0.833 electrovolt so EF was founded to be 0.833 electrovolt so this is the problem for this given problem so we have determined what is the EI what is the NC what is the NB what is the NI and what is the EF for the given hypothetical semiconductor similarly we will go for the next problem I hope the previous problem is understood now the second problem is very simple the silicon sample is doped with the 10 to the power 70 arsenic atoms okay per centimeter cube what is the equilibrium pole concentration p naught at 300 kelvin what is the ef relative to ea that is the question so here you can simply understand uh, it is 10 to the power 70 this is an arsenic atom that means it is a uh, donor impurity right it is a pentavalent element so that means obviously nd is going to be greater greater than ni so I can write N0 equal to ND. So N is nothing but a, like an electron concentration. If I bring N0, the concentration with respect to the temperature, this is thermal equilibrium condition. So that is, I can write like N0 equal to ND, N0 equal to ND. Okay. So here you can see, uh, I want to find what is the whole concentration from the basic mass action law. The mass action law tells you that the product of n0 and p0 equal to ni square the p0 is become ni square divided by n0 so ni you know that is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 so if you take a square you will be getting 2.25 into 10 to the power 20 and divided by your uh, concentration it was found out to be 10 to the power 70 so finally 2.25 into 10 to the power 3 per centimeter cube right so ef minus ea equal to kt natural logarithm of n0 divided by ni so here you want to understand again okay, the kt here i want to convert into the electro volt please understand students will do the mistake here i want to convert into the electro volt so basic procedure you want to follow same right so you'll be getting 0.0259 electro volt natural logarithm of n0 is 10 to the 17 and n is 1.5 to 10 to the 10 so we'll be getting 0.407 electro volt it is the thing we have calculated for this given problem so the corresponding diagram is given clearly so the band gap is 1.1 the fermi level from uh, like a ef to ea is 0.407 it was given in this diagram clearly okay the next problem so this is a very simple problem so silicon sample is uniformly doped like a 10 to the power 16 phosphorus atom so this is also this is going to be a uh, like a pentavalent element so 2 into 10 to the power 16 that is a boron atom is a trivalent element so this proponents are fully ionized is all are neutral that's what there's a meaning right so nd equal to 10 to the power 16 per cubic centimeter na is 2 into 10 to the power 16 uh, per cubic centimeter so you know that uh, P, I can write uh, like a Na minus Nd. So like a, you know that approximately P also can write like a P equal to approximately Na. Similarly for N, you, you know the formula Nd minus Na. Same formula you placed here. So to find exactly, I used uh, exact formula that is P equal to Na minus Nd. So P equal to, because both are given in the problem, so you can go with that. If you don't have that Nd is like, you can go with the approximate formula. That's it. So P, if you found out to be 10 to the 16, that is 2 into 10 to the 16 minus 6, 10 to the 16, that is found out to be 10 to the 16. Okay, now I want to find what is the electron concentration. What is the electron concentration? Is again, you want to go for the mass action, no? the product of N dot P equal to Ni square. So N equal to Ni square by P. So see, you want to understand one thing. The silicon only, the intrinsic concentration 1.25 into 10 to the 10, not for all. So for every material different intrinsic concentration that you want to uh, refer here 
some data sheet values okay so if you divide uh, with this you'll be getting 2.25 into 10 to the minus 4 per cubic centimeter so this is what we studied from this problem okay i hope the previous problems are clear so if you see this problem again it's going to be uh, some more uh, input uh, the problem q i hope like uh, if effective mass of the electron is 0.5 that is 0.5 into m naught that's what you understand how far from the edge of the conduction band is the fermi level see the question how far from the edge of the conduction band is the fermi level so you want to study two or three times until if you not read two or three times you will not get that you will not catch the question what they are trying to get from you actually say so ef is ef is above or below e see they are asking this is a question donor concentration is md equal to 4.4 into 10 to the power 14 okay so the formula is ec minus ef equal to kt by q natural logarithm of nc by nd so this is the formula that we have studied in the the lecture class so here i have just given note also the fermi level of n type semiconductor with respect to nc and nd this is the formula we have studied i use same formula but here problem is the nd is given but nc is not given so we want to determine from the given values so the one formula see like uh, in the previous uh, here i have shown on formula for nc this formula you can see the mn is like effective mass of whole is effective mass of electron is a variable one remaining all are constant so i can substitute those values and i can get some 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 final value right so that here it is given directly so this is another method of finding uh, finding it uh, to write that represent nc so i said you were right so i'll be uh, giving a, uh, like a, another lecture how to represent different formula for the effective density of, uh, of states uh, formula right so when you so write for nc 2.504 into 10 to the power 19 uh, per centimeter cube into m star and that is effective mass of electron and effective mass of your uh, sorry your uh, free uh, mass of electron right so both uh, like uh, if you uh, if you substitute point for m not it is given in the problem so if you after finding uh, m not m not only cancel so we'll be getting 8.85 into 10 over 18 per cubic centimeter so now the question is i want to find what is the ec minus ef right what is the ec minus ef so kd if you convert into the electrode 0 0.026 electrode and logarithm of 8.85 into 10 over 18 that is the nc what we have determined nd is given in the problem 4.414 so finally the answer to be a 0.256 electro volt so what is the inference here is the like a 0.256 from the edge of the conduction band right so it is absolutely clear that if he is ef is below to ec ef is below to the ec so that means ec minus ef is going to be a positive EC minus EF is going to be a positive. Another thing is EF is below EC. That's what you understand from this problem. Okay, the next problem here is consider the energy state of the semiconductor that at 0.25 electro volt above the Fermi level. Above the Fermi level is 0.25 electro volt. That's it. That I can write like a E minus EF equal to 0.25. This 10 times only they have written that is 0.25 electro volt above the Fermi energy level it was written to be E minus EF equal to 0.25 electro volt at the temperature condition of 0 Kelvin, 300 Kelvin, 500 Kelvin they are asking what is the probability that energy state is occupied in the conduction band that is F of E they are asking very simple question F of E is nothing but a 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of E minus EF divided by KT so this is the question First, we want to find for the three temperature 0 Kelvin, 300 Kelvin, 500 Kelvin. Here, the thing is, it will be in the joule. We want to convert into the electro volt. Okay, the students will mistake here only. So, that I want to insist here. So, for the 0 Kelvin, we will not have any issues. E power uh, e power e minus e divided by kt will become infinity. So, anything for 0 will be getting infinity only. So, f of e is going to be a 0 at 0 Kelvin there will not be any occupied state that is a condition that is the inference which you obtain for this 0 Kelvin but for the T is equal to 300 Kelvin the electron from the valence bands are migrated to the 
that is a occupied state in the NLC band that is migrate to the unoccupied state. So the electron is moving to the conduction band at the temperature of 300 Kelvin. How much amount it was moved? That is a question they are asking. So at 0.5 electrovolt, 1 divided by 1 plus 0.25 electrovolt, and how it was determined to be 0.259 electrovolt that you want to understand. How I have given simple KT. I want to convert into the electrode. So K is 1.38 into 10 to minus 23. Temperature is 300 Kelvin. And your uh, charge, that is a joule charge is 1.6 into 10 to minus 19. So if you calculate, it is found out to be the electrode value will be 0.025875 electrovolt. So that is round off to 0.259. So if you substitute that 1 divided by 1 plus 0.25 electrovolt divided by 0.0259 ultra volt so we will be getting 6.47 into 10 to the minus 5 we will be getting 0.06 percentage now we will go for the 500 Kelvin I am increasing the temperature obviously the inference is more number of electron will be migrated from the valency band to the conduction band so the portion of the uh, hole will be increased in the valency band and the portion of the electron which is occupied in the conduction band will be going to large that is the inference that you want to see so we want to have obvious change here measurable change which you want to see here so you can see it was found out to be 0.006 percentage you can see it was 0.30 percentage how much amount of electron is migrated and temperature is increased from 300 to 500 Kelvin so that was found out to be 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of 0.25 electrovolt divided by that is very important here it was given to the 500 Kelvin so I want to convert into the I want to convert into the in terms of electrovolt. What is the procedure? K into T. K is 1.38 into 10 to the minus 23. What is the temperature? 500. So that I want to convert into the electrovolt. So you want to divide by 1.6 to 10 to the minus 19. Okay, so joules joules will be cancelled. So it will be converted to electrovolt. It was found out to be 0.04312 electrovolt. So I can finalize or round off to 0.0431. So when you calculate 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of 0.25 divided by 0.0431, you will be getting 0.003101. So that was found out to be 0.3 percentage approximately. So what is the final inference is when temperature is increasing, no number of electrons are moving from the balance band to the conduction band. So I hope the few problems are clear what I have discussed now. Thank you.